Mantistrine. Here's one. 10 seconds. Click to expand. Maybe this is it. It's doing the video. Hope. I think I'm live. There you go. What should be live? <laughs> I think. I gotta find. Okay. Hi, Tammy Louise. I'm sorry. <laughs> we did try and stream originally in all three places, and we ended up yeah. somehow only in YouTube. Um, but all of the video input and setup is new in this area because the studio is new. So we've got now a camera facing me so that I can talk with you briefly before we do the actual car project. And then Jim's going to show you um, what we've done in the craft room so far so you can keep updated. He's going to show you his little video area. And then, like, so we've we I've done so much work. I've I've been up till like midnight every night. Go up higher over here. Why is it it's lagging on mine but not on yours? I see. Can they see like all the? Looking down. Okay, and then sh can you show them that mm -hmm. the lighting we have like the overhead lighting now, which is really nice, and the boom overhead holding the camera. So we shouldn't be shaky. Everything should be exactly the way it's supposed to be. And I get to talk to you briefly for a few seconds in the beginning of every video. And you get to, like, I have a reason to put my face on now. Yay. Um, but I did get to make a project today. And Jim was supposed to be able to uh, render the creation of the studio for everyone, but it ran out of time today and he didn't get that completed so we're going to show you that next week and we'll try really hard to get you like updated with everything else that's coming in and what's going on the ins and outs of how um i've organized some or portion of what's going on behind me um so i am going to have him flip the camera to the hand view and we're going to get started working with making some flowers that are in the cherry on top die set. And I designed it with a project that um, I had already made from Yupo paper and alcohol ink. Okay, so he is now switching Switch, camera. Switching. Okay. All right, so um, hi, Sandy. If you wanted to win tonight the prize, any kind of prize, um, please don't forget to comment. I won't know who's here and who's capable of winning um, when I'm giving the giveaway today. Stay to the end so we can get this all handled and taken care of. I'm still not happy with this lighting, James. It's too yellow. We're going to need to add some sort of another white lighter. Okay. White light later. So let's see. How close this one? Up. Uh, oh. I don't know why. I'm confused. Um, so you can see that the Yubo paper is in the background here. Um, and actually, it, this was a project that I designed and cut small pieces of paper and made good use of them. So I kind of matched some of the coloring that I had going on. So I had a blue turquoise a yellow green and a green blue mix and there's stripped in the back and then this is a, a die cut that i got from a girlfriend actually i don't know who makes this it might be spellbinders but what we've created are these cute little flowers that are sitting on the die cut that comes with the tiny vine oval and we have used easy salutations it just says thanks this is a cute little label that comes with the cherry on top. We've added some ribbon to coordinate the colors of the flowers. The flowers are completely designed with the watercolor natural 
digital papers and they look really authentic. I thought those turned out really well. And the papers come with the flowers in the cherry on top die set. And so does the cute little ladybug or yeah, ladybug. Okay. So this is just a sweet little card. It's only four and a quarter by three and an eighth. So it's pretty tiny, but it is an opportunity to say thank you very quickly. And it uses up some of your leftover papers that are too small to use on anything else. Like I mentioned before, where you're going to use the easy salutations has a whole lot of different things in here for parties, invitations, thank you, you're invited, hey, you know, bridal showers, all sorts of things come in this. This is the Watercolors Natural, um, Watercolor Naturals by TLC Designs, and I designed all of the watercolor myself and then made them into designer paper. And you're going to find all of your botanicals, all of your natural colors, your grasses, your hills, your mushrooms, your reds, yellows, greens. You can see all the different styles of colors on here. You get actually 25 designer papers, six by six in size. And I'm thinking on adjusting this to um, the, thank you, Sandy. Adjusting this to, have you shared in the other groups, James? No, no I was trying to get everything set up first. Right. So. I, we're, we're a little bit behind on this, um, but we'll get this together eventually. Um, we work with this and then the cherry on top die. It has the ladybug and two different sets of rings that you could choose. For like Valentine's Day, you could do the heart. Here's the cute little label that I used. And a lot of people have been asking what these are. These are the actual flower petals. And you get three sizes that are together and two sizes that are separated. So it's a lot of variety in sizes. And they are a little bit small, but they make beautiful flowers. Then we have the tiny vine oval. And that's what I'm using today. I cut out of the green watercolor paper and simply used the spots that had these flowers on them in order to create the new flower. So those are the products that we're going to use today. Let's get to it. So when I used several months back now, when I used the scraps that I had from Yupo paper, I made several of these sized cards and just decided to put them away. And I used it, I think, on one project that week and then put them away and thought, well, I'll definitely have an opportunity to get these out. And today was the perfect day for that. So this one, you can see, you bring it up close. It's really kind of a glittery look because we added um, some shine with spritz on the Yupo paper. And the alcohol ink, I also believe, had... Um, some shimmer in it, or we use some pearlized um, water spray on the paper itself. Then we just used a die cut over that, and this is just adhered, which I think this is because of the die cut that was on there. So we're just going to make sure that we get that centered, put it on there, and then um, maybe what I'll do... I'll make sure that this stays stable. So this is the card that opens. This is the face of the card that we're going to put a little bit more tape runner on here. The purple tape is on there in order to keep the three strips from moving. So we're going to put this back <clears throat> in place. This has been sitting around for several months, so I'm kind of glad I'm using this up. I used double-sided score tape on the back this afternoon when I created these. Thank you, Sandy. These cards are four and a quarter by three and an eighth. So they're not full-size cards. 
Do we have any other people on YouTube that are asking questions? Are you keeping track of that as well? At the same time. Okay. I'm just curious. <clears throat> Do you know if it's playing in the creative sharing group? It is. It is. Okay. And on Tammy mm -hmm. profile and in TLC design. It's in the three, all three. Oh. So not TLC design. No. Okay. So after we have applied the back to this, what we're going to do, I'm going to take my glasses off here so I can show you and kind of see. Um, these are the products that I found in my stash. I have not used in a really long time. A lot of people aren't putting ribbon on cards anymore, which I'm kind of concerned with because I think that sometimes the frill is what makes it as interesting as it is. But you never know. To each his own. So what we're going to do is use crystal accents. We're going to, I cut all of these little die cuts out. Some of them I grabbed, and I will show you what color. Distress Ink Crushed Olive and my little sponge. And I just put a little hue of green on some of them, not all of them. Um, one of the design papers that I used from the Watercolor Naturals um, collection had a bit of hue of purple and blue in it, and the other one only had blue with white. So it gives you a large variety then, and the colors look more natural when you mix um, some of the different watercolor paper together. Okay, so let me show you what I did. First cut the tiny vine from the Vine Oval. We're just going to grab my little protector desk device. And we're going to put a little dot. I knew this was going to jam up. I had this open way too long today. It doesn't like to be open for very long. This is Crystal Accents, in case you've never used it. It's really good adhesive. It works quickly. But it clogs a little bit more than I like. Just always have to have a straight pin available. Okay, and I've been using my tweezers all day today. Because everything that we're doing today is pretty delicate. So we're going to go about there. <clears throat> you got three on Facebook right now. From Susie, Sue Hints. Glad Hi, Colleen. Yes, it does look like a hydrangea. Actually, it's funny you should mention the name of that flower because as I got some mail in today, I don't know how familiar everyone is, but we just moved here. And... I'm decorating the smaller hallway bathroom and I went kind of country with mason jar decorations that have twill around the edge and we're doing the hydrangea look and I thought I have a dye that cuts these hydrangeas I should definitely work with that so that is how that came about today hi Sheila oh thank you she likes the studio we got it installed last Thursday and about 15 <clears throat> minutes after they left we had to go live so this is what I already had cut up I my son and I and my husband have been working all week filling the boxes with stuff moving the cabinets around trying to get things where we want them so we're just going to add one flower petal at a time um, I go from the large to the medium. Let's see if we can grab a medium. That one's a large. Here's a medium. And alternate which direction the petals go in. And then just keep adding until you're happy with how it looks. 
Now remember, some of these, don't be afraid to like mix and match the purples. I'm gonna put another large one right here. You hold it down just for a second in the end that has the glue on it. You can always lift that hydrangea up later, that petal. I want one of these. Just make sure you always have a little dot of glue on there for it to adhere to. Don't be afraid to just lay it flat as you're creating it because as you go, the glue is only going to remain in the center anyway. So when the lifting part comes up, you can do that after all that glue is settled and dried. Now some of these are separate. Look at this one. It has like multiple. It has green, blue, purple, yellow, all different colors in it. It makes it for more natural <clears throat> appearance. The more colors. Colleen Fleming says hi. Who? Colleen Fleming. Hi, Colleen. And Sheila. I'm new here. Sandy invited me. Nice to have you, Colleen. Thank you, Sandy. I think you said you must have a lot of patience. Is this a new dot? Who said that? Vicki. Gallery. I do have a lot of patience. Sometimes. Depends on if it's crafting patience that is required or husband patience. <laughs> we, um, uh, we did start at 8 o'clock. I don't know how many of you were able to try and make it at 8, but it didn't work. For some reason, the streaming was not cooperating with us. So we had to shut it down and start all over. But we have so much new stuff going on. I'm looking for a specific tea tiny one. Here it is. There's so much new stuff going on. We have big, huge lighting to make it more white in the room as I video at eight o'clock at night, we wanted it to still look daylight. So we bought a light that is specially made for that and it's hanging above me. And then we created, Jim created a boom to hold the camera so that I can go from seeing everybody and looking at their faces to down here. We are just- Say hi, camera. Say hi, oh hi. <laughs> He's like, say hi. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we can switch back and forth. That's kind of cool. Now, I'm going to stop there on that one. And I'm going to put one of these little crystals in the center while the glue is still wet. And we're going to leave that one alone. We're going to go to the next one. It is not that long of a process. I know some of you have mentioned that these teeny tiny things are not your favorite, but if you watch, you got one, two, glue, and one medium, three, another medium. Let's go just plain blue. That'll be pretty. Or a little bit more glue. You can tell there's like no glue left for anything to adhere to, so that would be counterproductive. Trying to stick things on with no glue. Let's put some of these little baby ones so that we get that real look. One there, and one here down in the center, grab one of these, pop it on. The more little layers, the better. The more layers, the better. It looks more real. Now, I was thinking, what if we did, I don't just like kind of look like big balls, you know, like full of big balls, um, a full big ball of it on each individual stem. These cute little flowers. What if we did like a dome or like a cotton ball underneath a small cotton ball to give it that look of a dome and then build the flowers all Hello. the way around the cotton ball? You'd look like you had a real hydrangea on there. Wouldn't that be sweet? 
That's is this right. a new die? Um, Sheila, this is not a new die. I can show you again real quick. It is the chair. Well, the cherry on top die has. I'll get it for you right here. The cherry on top die has 23 dies in it, and you get this really super cute little cupcake. And you could build all, several of the design team have inspiration on the creative sharing group um, that uses the For You uh, and then the actual cupcake base and some candles. And then it has a cherry up here. They've made the um, double dial day out of this. But it also has the hydrangea flower and the cute little ladybug that we're using. It has two different wings. You could use this one for Valentine's Day. We're going to use... I think we used the heart one actually for today, but that's that die and they are not new, um, but I haven't made hydrangeas with them before, I don't think. And then this is the tiny vine oval. It has a sweet little oval in the center with these cute oblong um, doily looking holes. And then it has one that nests and it has the vine that sits in the center. And it, you do get two extra flowers that you could pop up on the vine for any other project that you might want to work on. Um, let me see. Thank you. My phone switches pages on me. So weird. Oh, Amy. Hi, Amy. I love the idea of the catwalk. Yeah. I was thinking, how would I get it to look kind of like a dome? And then you would just want like one big stem. And I do know that there's a die set. Um, in my collection in the store that has a stem that would work. Let's see, I want to go this way. And then I want one of the solid blue. <clears throat> Melanie's going to have a new project posted after the live. Melanie is? Yeah. Is she online? She in Facebook Melanie, I'm sorry. Melanie Smith. Melanie. Melanie. <laughs> I can't leave. <laughs> Melanie, he apologizes. He called you Melanie. <laughs> he didn't mean it. He's still a good guy, I promise. No, um, you posted a project today. I thought you posted a project today. It was super sweet. Maybe it was in the design team group that I saw it and that it was going to come out later tonight. But look at how pretty. Okay. I don't want to take forever doing those. We're going to pop one of these silvers, little gems, and there's only one left. What if I've been doing this maybe 10, 15 minutes, the flowers, while I'm talking and chit-chatting? What scale? I know. I'm getting better and better every day. <laughs> oh, Sheila, you have the cupcake. Oh, I have to get the other. Oh, uh, yeah. Or get a cotton ball. I would love to see you try the cotton ball idea and see if you can build like a little round hydrangea. But this watercolor paper is the bomb when it comes to foliage <coughs> and natural flowers, ladies. You're not going to be able to beat this. The appearance, the realistic appearance that you get. Look at this one. Purples blues and i'll pull a card up for you so you can see look at all of the and then i added that green all the purples and blues and greens make it look so real okay and these are a fantastic way to use up some small little scraps of paper as well ladies i mean all you have to do is keep that little edge of the blue that you didn't get to use because your card was too big Where'd it go? It's so small I lost it. Um, and use it up with these dies and make something beautiful. Vicky likes to paper because the uh, colors are natural looking. Yeah. Watercolor does it. It is the bottom. And you can see, I like, I went on a mad cutting spree, I think, and got like tons of them. I'll be able to make another two projects with, this, with as many of these as I cut. But that's why I have this dish so that you can kind of go through them and use whatever you want when you want them. You don't know how many you're going to want until you get there, right? 
kind of like shopping. You go in for milk and you end up spending $150 on stuff you didn't think you needed. You do that, not me. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know, I am going to admit that's the truth. He does not do that. I do that every time I get in there. Although I don't get out too often compared to him because I'm a homebody and staying safe. So that is what I did for the hydrangeas. Now, I'm going to show you how nicely they opened up. Look how cute. And then we're going to let it dry just for a few minutes and, and work on the things. And um, then we'll pop the leaves behind them. And then we'll work on the little ladybug. Isn't that pretty? OK. So what am I going to do with? What did I do with the, I know there was a white die cut, James. Did you steal my die cut? I did, and I forget where I put it. <laughs> it's got to be here someplace. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the tag one, funny enough. Well, it's super easy to cut another one. I suppose it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Isn't that weird, though? It's white. That is so strange. Maybe it's on me somewhere. No. Okay, so I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper. I hope that he plugged this Gemini in. We're going to be in trouble. This is how I store my stuff. I am going to look for the label. Gemini is plugged in. Good. Yeah. Pretty Um. Oh, I guess right where that guillotine cutter is, we need to figure out how, how to get the wires underneath the desk that I need for the heat gone, uh, the glue gone, and the Gemini. The guys are coming back to finish the desk up, but they need to drill some holes towards the back by the wall so that I can do what I need to do. Right? Yep. -er. Yep. -er. Okay. Here's. So I'm going to run this real quick through the Gemini. This is just another piece of scrap paper. Let me get over to the Gemini. Joyce, we can see you on uh, YouTube. Yes, we see you, Joyce. Hubby says you're there. You're there. must have fallen on the floor. I'll find it probably after the live. <laughs> okay, so we're done making flowers. Let's move that up out of the way. There's our label. See, and I would save this. I would like use this until <clears throat> it's completely gone. And that's how I use my scraps up. Waste not. We probably didn't see you on Facebook earlier during the time that we were having issues, but now we see everybody. We do see everybody now. Is, were you talking to them? Or Joyce, you yes. Talking, you were talking I to was. them? Okay, okay. I don't know that they can hear you. Can they hear you? Yes, they can oh, hear you. Oh, very good. So, yes, we did run into a snafu this evening where it wasn't streaming. I wasn't talking to myself this time. <laughs> I hope you don't do that ever again. It's kind of scary. All right, so all I'm going to do is grab my protect your, sh your counter sheet. And then I already have the word thanks, and it came from, it's a cute little small one, but there is a big one, which comes in handy. And I like the word hey, but there's a little thanks that comes with the easy salutation set. This set really can come in handy. Going to ink it with 
This is Versifying Claire Nocturne. Get directly over it. Make sure my head is not. Perfect. Let's do a green ribbon this time instead of the blue. Because I liked both colors, but I also like having like a variety in my thank you cards so they're not all the same. So we'll do one in blue. And then I have thank you cards now so I can send you ladies some thank you cards when you. Joyce says that they're finally out of lockdown, but they still have restrictions. Oh, wow. Okay. It has been a long time. Something about her dad's passed away. Who said that, honey? Oh, yeah. Amy. <clears throat> She's talking about the hydrangeas. Oh, passed away six years ago. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Amy. You do have scraps. I keep them, too. That ladybug that is supposed to be, that's my go-to ink. Mine, too. It is very sharp and easy to work with. And I always love the outcome when I use it. So all I did I'm gonna cut this a little bit. I haven't used this stuff in so long. I'm gonna stick one end through. We're gonna work from the back <coughs> and go forward so that the knot is something that's visible. I want to create that knot. And I like it when it's <clears throat> shiny on one side. So we're going to put that shiny one right there. I have to kind of twirl it, make it look right. And bend it down a little, make it look more like a knot. There. It's got a little bit too much left for my liking. there and I just come across the back leave loads of room put all this back in my little bowl through the other side of this thank you note. Is that just ribbon? Yes. Amy is asking. We didn't get the, that is just ribbon. <coughs> um, She's on her phone, so she can't tell. It's the crinkle ribbon. And I know that it's it was popular back when Magnolia was really big because it's kind of got a very relaxed look to it. It's not a uh, ribbon that would come on a spool. You get it and you buy it. I bought mine from really reasonable ribbon and you just get it in a big bundle. It is so old and now that I've gone through my crafty stuff, and finding things that I really haven't worked with in forever and ever. And I'm anxious to work with them again because it's new now. Because it's been, you know, five or six years since I got to use them. So everything is new. And I found these and I'm like, oh, I should definitely use this. Melanie, one of the design team members, I don't know if she's still on. But she created a project the other day she was showing me. And she actually used um, Wild Orchid Crafts flowers, it looked like. And I remember buying so much of that stock. I love those flowers. And 
everyone's clean and simple projects nowadays aren't really, they're not fancy. And so they're not using some of that stuff that I really loved when I was on design teams originally in my career. I did, I don't know, 11 or 12 different design teams all together. Um, so I glued the anything that's loose because, you know, you tie knots, but it isn't going to turn out perfect. So I glued it down to the bottom of that. And in the meantime, I am going to show you how I did the distressing. Here's our little, and I did use the heart one. Isn't it cute? The red paper that I have in that watercolor stuff does have like corners that are real dark. They looked so realistic. I was really pleased with that. Um, Oops, and I blew all my leaves under my computer desk. I breathed too heavy. So we're going to get the Distress ink out again. And the little tool. This is quick and easy. I just went like this and dabbed the edge. One, two, of course, she's on Mr. Card. She's posting after after the after the video here. She said what? Melanie. Yeah, what she, she said. Say? Of course, I'm on that Mr. Card. I'm posting after your live. Awesome. Tonight. So there's going to be some really cute inspiration, ladies. Don't miss out if you're not in the creative. I think um, you said don't sneeze. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Blow your leaves away. Right. Um. If you're not in the creative sharing group yet, be sure to run over there because that's where my design team is posting their stuff. Um, most often, we are going to start, I'm gonna say in March, posting on the inspiration page and hopefully the store page. Now that I've moved in, now that we have recovered from our illness and our surgery and all of the other things that were going on in this household in the last three or four months, and we have new products done and manufactured and in, things are going to calm down and we're going to be able to advertise and put the word out there more often. The store is tlcdesigns.shop. Jim can have that run across. If you're not a member of the YouTube page, you can run that across as well. If he remembers how to do all of those things. And you will know I where to find going. us. I'm going to send an email out if you're not a member of the store. Subscribe to the store and we will want four leads. There's the other lead. Um, I'm going to be running a sale real soon, and in March we're having a large event um, that's going to be streamed for the new release of the stuff that's coming out. So all I'm going to do is put this face, oh, and I, I actually colored the other one a little bit with the screen. Maybe I'll just add it to the edge. Again, this is called crushed olive. If you have distressing you can you like this kind of olive green. <clears throat> it's all of a different color when it's crushed. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I'm not Tim Holtz. I didn't do it. I don't like olives. You do. I love olives black. I don't like the green ones so much, but black olives really good. Many of you like black olives. Um, I always say when happen things will calm down, funny thing they never seem to. They're going to if it's the death of me this time because I just need things to chill out. Every day I'm ordering something that the house needs. Ice cream scoopers and toilet paper holders and artwork for the walls so we don't feel like 
every time we open our mouths, everything is vibrating off of the walls. And you know, what did we order just the other day? Oh, the hydrangeas for the bathroom with the mason jars. And we've been getting dressers and furniture. We got our bar stools the other day for the island in the kitchen. They turned out really pretty. I love them. They were part of a collection at Lazy Boy. We never did get to see them in the store, but I fell in love with the whole collection, so we just ordered them. And they came through, or they came in. It was wonderful. There. So that's basically how you would pop up the hydrangea after the glue is dry. Just grab the petal, pull it off and away. Don't forget you have things layered. So some of the glue might stick. Just get your little thingy in there and pull the other layer. And pull those up. It's all coming together slowly. It is It is a slow process, but it's totally worth it. I've, I've, we're of retirement age and never had a studio like this before. So this is all a big new thing and privilege and fun. It's just that I wish it wasn't in a new house where, you know, we're ordering crock pots because we don't have one. Shanna Slater says hello. Huh? Shanna Slater. Hi, hello. Shanna. How are you? Okay. So this one came a little unglued. I might want to stick. I'm going to grab these. You can see how this layer came away from that layer. As I tried to lift. So we're going to put just a drop of glue. Right? Oh! Did you see that, James? I missed it, no. I couldn't see. I'm looking at the little tiny screen over here. I looked for a drop of glue and I ended up with the glossy accent squirting out at me. So I lifted it with my finger to fix it. There. Anyway. I suppose I could just do it with my fingers. It may even turn out easier. There we go. Fingers and nails, they always come in handy. Sit down there. This one is still wet. This one is dry. There we go. And you could curl these. You could run these um, on one of those pads with the little ball tool. And actually put a curve into the center of the petals if you wanted to. Put a little bit more energy into the card. Um, because it is something, this would be perfect for Mother's Day. This could be perfect for, you know, your mama and your teacher, somebody for your kids. That karate instructor that's every week doing virtual karate, right James? Yeah. He's got students, he teaches karate, and he's got <clears throat> students that take the class, and sure enough, he shows up every week and teaches as many students as comes virtually. I think the parents are really kind of digging it because, you know, if you have class around 5 or 6 o'clock at night, then the parent gets off work, they get a chance to make dinner in peace, and... And it could be worldwide, too. You can do it anywhere. And if you have any students that are interested in karate, self-protection, self and you learn all sorts of things in karate. I have an autistic child. Christian is 25 now, but when we put him in karate, he really needed some help with confidence and things like that, confidence building. Let's do the ladybug. Now that we have sorted those out, all we're going to do, pop a little touch of glue onto the ladybug um, wings. Place him right there. I'm going to grab another jewel. Is she in Christian's room? I think so. I think she runs out. 
Our dog is whining. I can hear her in the background. And then I pop dotted the ladybug. She is whining. I suppose we could let her out. I don't think she's going to do any harm. Probably not. What if she needs to use the restroom? I'm going to bend this wing up and away from the body, just a little. And then pop the body in the center of the card. Yay. Chris. Lisa is all we have left, ladies. So we're going to pop this one. One, hi, Bella Bear. Jim just got her out of the bedroom. I'll show you our puppy in a second. I'll introduce you to Bella. As soon as I'm done here, I kind of want this leaf to go underneath there. Forget to push it down so that glue gets on there. Uh, we put crock pot on tonight too, so dinner will be ready as soon as I'm done. <gasps> so hungry. <laughs> Shanna has to leave. Shanna, you have to go. Thank she's, she's you. At work. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, she, she, she visits while she's on break. Have a great night and be safe, okay? We'll see you soon. <coughs> All right. That is it, ladies. How sweet is that? Isn't it cute? It's got a little bit of dimension, but it'll fold right up in a card, and then people can lift it up, you know, when they get the card. And then I just applied the blue card onto a white base just to give it that little trimmed look. You could add a little bit of stickles if you wanted to. You could definitely go in, pull these flat, these leaves once that glue is dry a little. You can bend and pull those so they're up and away from the card. But that's it. So let's call a winner. We need you to be present. So, let's do the second from the bottom. Second from the bottom? That would be Susie Hintz. Who? Susie Hintz. Susie Hintz. I don't think I've ever met you. She I'm does. glad you joined us tonight. She comes on uh, YouTube all the time. Oh, okay. Awesome. So you are the winner, and I am giving away the um, Tiny Vine Oval and the Cherry on Top. So you will be able to make this project. Thank you, Sandy. I'm so glad that you could join me tonight. Thank you, Sheila. Nice to see you, ladies. I know we didn't get any advertisements <clears throat> on tonight. James, grab the camera real quick. We will show you once again what is going on in the background. He's going to grab this camera, um, kind of change the view. Yeah, like we have filled. We've got some of my favorite cards, some things that were published early on in my career in the magazines. Um, you know, I have my red and my Gerber Davies Z flowers everywhere. We did a little bit of decorating. I did do some organizing of these are stencils and embossing folders. And I will share with you what the name of those um, binders are because they're six by eight and they're perfect size and they fit just beautiful. We made a little bit of decor going on in the top shelf. We don't have the logo built yet. But we do have a lot of storage boxes in now. We have a mailing center. Um, 
We have a lot going on. I did create one of these cute little cubbies. It has all of my glitter and things that move around here. And then put the camera. Which camera am I supposed to this be one. looking at? No, I mean, how do I see what they see? That one. Okay. So you're seeing me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm waiting for a lot of pencil holders and marker holders, things like that. But we are coming along. I've got an, a lot of my, I know you probably can't see it, but I've got a lot of my little organizing devices all filled up so they're easy to grab. Um, once we get the desk completely built and finished, We'll go ahead and show everybody everything that there is to see. You want to see my Bella? Come here, Bella. Come here, Bella. This is Bella. <laughs> this is my Bella. Say hi. Hi, Bella. She hasn't seen me in so long today because I worked all day today. This is Bella. She is a long-haired mini dachshund. She was about 10 pounds. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> oh, she's giving kisses because she knows she gets treats for kisses. So, and mom smells good because I put perfume on today when I did my face. So anyway, great working with you ladies today. Um, I'm so glad you could join me. We are <coughs> up and running now. We're going to continue to get better. We're going to do advertisements earlier. And I am going to send out an email with a discount code for anyone that's interested in purchasing. Um, the new Posh Pops came out, just released a week or two ago. And um, they have been really popular. I'd like to get a few more people subscribed. So I might be doing a giveaway real soon of the See You in the Center die. Um, but we will see you again soon. I want you to all stay safe. And thank you for joining me. And it's really important to live creatively. And I think TLC is an important way to remember to do that. And I'll continue to bring all of this info to you and with you. For as long as I can. Thank you. Have a great night. We'll see you soon.